Hello and welcome to this quick video about what to do if you have trouble arming your model. Now I've already done a complete series and I'll put a link down below that takes you through the steps for modern Ardu pilot builds. I was actually an Ardu plane in that instance and got to the end and surprise surprise it worked perfectly. So if you're struggling I would heartily recommend watch that series. I show every single step for how to set something like this up. However, if you get to the end and you still can't arm it, then there in the latest versions of Mission Planner, there's a really cute way to figure out what's stopping you arming. So let me just plug in a Pixhawk cube. So connected to the flight controller, uh, the way that you used to do it was here, it says not ready to arm and tells you that. I have a 3D fix, which is good. I can see that on the screen. I can also see the ADS-B information, because again, this is an orange cube uh, with the ADS-B carrier board. So this is the information from full-size aircraft flying into and out of Manchester Airport over here. And um, occasionally we'll see some of them coming out of Liverpool as well. But so I get too distracted. Normally the way it works is that you go into messages and you would read in here about the errors, particularly the ones, the pre-arm stuff saying what the problem is. However, in the latest versions of Mission Planner, it is super easy to find exactly what is stopping you from arming. And here where it says not ready to arm, it's now a clickable thing. If you click on there, it'll bring up these warnings. So, the hardware safety switch is an issue. It either needs to be pressed or disabled. Again, watch the series. We disabled the ones on the model. If you're using something like a HEAR 3 or a HEAR 4, you would disable the safety switch typically. Although I don't tend to do it on helicopter builds. 3D accelerometer calibration is needed. You shouldn't see that if you've gone through all the steps. RD Pilot works incredibly hard to make sure that all the calibration is done current and looks okay before it carries on. Again, compass isn't calibrated. That should all be done in the initial setup steps. And the last thing that's stopping it is the radio control input. I don't have a receiver currently plugged into this, so it's freaking out. So if ever you are in a situation where you have built it, but you can't arm it, my suggestion would be, while it is all powered, plug it back into Mission Planner, try and arm it, or before you try and arm it, just come down here, and if it says not ready to arm, just click on this little thing, and it will let you know exactly the stuff that needs to be sorted out in order for you to get to fly. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.